Okay, this is overseas Chinese live streaming. Today we came to UBC and then we encounter a couple of students or future students. <laughs> Hello, Hi. how are you? I'm lovely. How are you today? <laughs> oh, I'm very good. Uh, would you please, uh, everyone, introduce yourself and okay. also introduce uh, this great person? Sure. Um, I am Sahiba. I am from India, New Delhi. And these are my friends here. And I think uh, they can tell you better because he's the present student here, right over here, Gurneet. Okay, okay. present. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys, I'm Gurneet. I'm doing my master's in accounting from Sauter School of Business in UBC. And um, this statue right here is of Rabindranath Tagore. So he was a famous poet in India and he also wrote India's national anthem. So whenever you are in Olympics or Commonwealth Games and you've seen India win any matches against any other country. So India's national anthem or national song is played and this guy right here wrote that and uh, it's a 52 second song and it's it's pretty beautiful it describes india's diversity and everything and it's awesome so shout out to rabindranath tagore yeah and also uh he got a special prize nobel prize nobel, yeah. nobel, nobel prize yes right? nobel prize 2013 literature yeah, okay. he did. He did. Uh, more, more. He can tell you more about the Nobel Prize. I, I don't know much about it. But okay. Uh, he can tell now you more I, about it. <laughs> that is uh, gentleman to you. Yeah, so okay, may I know your name, sir? Uh, my uh, English name is Sing. Okay, my Sing. Chinese name is Shin. My Shin. Oh, okay. Great. How, how you can Great. speak in Chinese? I studied in Zhejiang University. Wow. Um, you can so speak a couple of Chinese if you don't mind. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I speak Shin. Uh, this particular statue is Rabindranath Tagore. It, uh, it symbolizes one of our really, really famous uh, literates. Uh, so he definitely like is well famous for his literature. And uh, as you heard, like wrote a lot of ancient Indian uh, mythological text converted. He also like um, drew inference from a different like fields of mythology and sociology and psychology. And he was at the intersection of all three, which is why uh, he was uh, very politically inspired and also helped uh, develop India's culture. Uh, it was also India's first Nobel Prize uh, that he actually uh, brought home. So that was nice. And uh, there's a world famous adage, uh, I don't remember exactly, but it's like uh, uh, something about lightness that he wrote and it's like very wide, like world famous. And that's predominantly why he received his uh, Nobel Prize in, uh, in literature in 1913. Okay, in 1913. 13. 13? Yeah. Okay. By the way, uh, he also is a painter, right? Yeah, he used to paint. He had an artistic like so. Basically, he had his whole creative and artistic side, okay. uh, but predominantly he was in literature. So he he worked at the intersection of art, um, politics, sociology, psychology, and uh, essentially literature. So that was his intersection. So he he drew inferences and he drew his examples from all different fields. Uh, but he was he was a philosophical mind at the bent of his heart. And so that's why he's revered worldwide for his philosophies, for his writings, because he drew inferences from so many different fields. He writing in English or in India? He always wrote in English, actually. Yeah. Oh, so. yeah. and how many children uh, he has? No idea. No idea. <laughs> okay. Because what I... would you know? What would you know? <laughs> oh, you would know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So you are graduated from UBC, right? Uh, so he's working at UBC. I actually went to the U.S. for college, but I live in Vancouver, so I'm, I'm Canadian, yeah. Oh, okay, you are Canadian. Yeah. Okay, great. Sink. Okay, I, I never... He's the UBC graduate right there. Oh. <laughs> to answer your so question, he had five children and yeah. two wives. Two wives? One sec. <laughs> oh. No, just one wife. One wife, not two wives. He had one wife and five children. Okay. But yeah, that was pretty much it about him. He's, oh. He's awesome. Like, look it up on Wikipedia and that's, that's, you'll get more about him. He's an okay. inspiring figure though. This guy almost like a Da Vinci, right? It means I have a lot yes, of... Yes, you could say that. that. That's a very nice compliment for him. Okay, this guy is a creator. in have a lot of achievement in different areas. He did, he did. Right? Yep. So... I hope you have a nice time seeing Vancouver and the campus and, and enjoying the beautiful summer here. Oh, okay. Here, let's um, salute to this uh, great poem. Okay, salute. salute. <laughs> okay. We're going to 
啊，中国人讲的这个呃托尔斯泰，寂静。好，这里是海边环直播，我们始终不办高僧，我们力求直播传真。下次到 UBC 来，到亚洲中心，不要忘记，我们来参观这一座雕像。这个是，这个是 ，OK，OK， 看那个 ，Canada，, okay. Canada 好，再见，拜拜，再见，再见 ，OK， 舒克利亚，舒克利亚 ，OK， 谢谢，谢谢，再见，拜拜。Bye bye.